Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Kati and today it's time for me to join the Sterling Inc. fan club or I don't know but I have just heard so much talked about that and those planners and I have been so like not interested until I saw that they launched the passport booklets now in September and I ordered them on the first weekend after launch and they are here and it's time for me to show you what I got. I haven't seen and I haven't looked for but all the sterling ink books that I have seen nobody has done an unboxing and now I understand why because the experience is very underwhelming it was just a plain white box and inside was this so I have opened it, it already but it, it was just a bundle of bubble wrap and there was this one envelope outside the bubble wrap so it has had been a bit bent so then I open at the first bubble wrap then I open at the second bubble wrap and then here inside I think this was an error so I got two brown envelopes so the other one was inside the bubble wrap and the other one was outside let's open the freebies because I also did that first so this is the bent one and here inside was this card and the information and this font is so hard to read but okay and then these my collections freebie I think it says and then okay I was lucky so the other freebie isn't or it's different so that's nice so the card was like this and then the stickers so I got those and my package took about two and a half weeks it was held in customs so that wasn't nice I paid the taxes while ordering but Apparently the package didn't have enough information so customs wanted me to give more information about what is in my package. So that made about a half week delay in the delivery. And yes, so you can see I order it a lot and I will now go then through and tell you what I got and why. So first I have now been in my pocket TN and well... <laughs> I have a pocket TN but I mainly use passport size inserts but I have this nice TN and I don't have a big passport size TN so that's why I'm using the pocket TN and also I have this Hobonichi weekly here in the back so this wouldn't fit in a passport so it's a bit messy but passport and A6 inserts in a pocket TN. That's my jam now. I have a bullet journal in a passport notebook and I have made the notebook myself because I'm trying it out the system now. So then I was thinking about okay I want to have passport bullet journal notebooks for the future and I was thinking about the what I have heard talked about the good ink impressions that's in is it in Spain situated but I can't handle that if you have been there on the website you have seen that they have so many options paper uh, what layout grid lined da, 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 and so many cover color options and I I can't do that that's that's too much for me at least for now so I, I can't handle that and not enough pictures showing the insides so I can't handle that so when I saw this when they announced this I was oh, okay that, that could be my solution for the bullet journal so I got these this is just a notebook booklet and all of these have the Tomoe River Sunsen paper 52 GSM, it's the passport size, so 9 times 12 and a half centimeters. Do I have the numbers here? Yeah, 
So Traveler's Company inserts are 8.9 times 12.4, like the official size. And this is now 9 times 12 and a half. So it should be a bit bigger, but I don't... Well, it is, yes, a tiny bit bigger, but it's not like... It's okay, it's about the same, but just to let you know, it is a tiny bit bigger. So if you would have a, like a plastic cover or something, so it, it might be that it doesn't fit. All of them are soft cover. There are color options, I will go those through. And all of them have grid size 3.9. And that was something I was excited about because I need to have a small grid to fit a whole month or at least four weeks on one page, which I want to have. And I do like, well, the rounded corners is not like a must for me, but I do like these margins. I just, it's like so soothing to my eyes to have margins. And that was one big thing for me that why I chose these. So, 64 pages, they are numbered, which is also nice if you like to use page numbers in your bullet journal or whatever you would do with these. And this is the only option, the grid, small grid. And it's, it's lovely. It's like, it's not like from, made from lines, it's dot lines. And there are some dots, so you could divide it in half, so. This, this will do just fine for my bullet journal. And I chose this forest green for the booklet. And I chose all colors. So there are four colors of which you could choose from. And I did it so that I wanted to have every option in a different color. So make it a bit brighter. So I think this was the only option for this. And then I was just checking what to choose so that I can get all colors. But because this booklet was the only one you could get in four colors and the others came in two colors. And then this I think was the one that should have been also available in the green, but the green is now delayed. So the caramel was the only option. But when I saw these, my first thought was that these look darker than I was expecting them. I like that they are all different colors. I wouldn't have liked that they would all be like caramel, which had, would have been an option, because then it's not so easy for me when I go through my notebook to see which one is which. So I, I enjoy that they are different colors. But maybe next year if I order, now that I have seen them all, I may do some other decisions. So I took four of these booklets, so I thought that one would be enough for one quarter, so three months, so I would have worth of one year my bullet journal here, so I don't have to worry about where to do my plans. Then, this is what I was excited about when I saw the launch video. Is this now the... I'm always so mixed with the vertical and horizontal. Isn't this vertical? So, but I was excited about this. It says it here. Yes, this is the vertical weekly. And why I was excited about this is that I... This isn't such an common layout and I love it. I have been using the Hobonichi Weekly. And that is also the reason why I use the pocket TN because I can fit this in the back. So this was what I was excited about and I do like this. You can see maybe now it's a bit creamier this paper. And yes, this is the Sunsen Tomoe River, so I haven't ever tried that before. So. I don't know yet if I like it, but probably I will. I'm hoping so. So I like this because it's so 
it doesn't have any colors. It doesn't have any holidays and I just, I like this simple layout. It doesn't have this either, so I have more space here. I wouldn't need these times to be here. For me it's enough that it's one time here. This is a bit like wasted space for me, these times on every day, but okay. So this I could now fit in an passport TN and I can show you what's in here. So here's a calendar and then this is fun. I think that this has these quarterly pages. So priorities and the months and the months in this way. And yes, these are divided in two. So this has only six months and a few note pages in the back. And then I have the other half here. Two books of the sterling ink will take more space than the one Hobonichi. Hmm. So actually a half a year will take the same amount of space than one full year. Almost. That's interesting. Because I was thinking that I would save a bit space with having two six months books. But in all honesty, I haven't yet decided which one I will use. And that also depends if I'm using a pocket or a passport TN. So, but now I have the option. And yes, this was for me with shipping, with taxes, with everything, 25.90 euros and this is 690 in euros. So there is almost a 20 euro difference. So if we are talking about prices, 7 euros, 26 euros, I would have to go with the Hobonichi. But because this is A6 so it's not convenient in a passport size TN. So but I'm saving 20 euros with this one, so ouch. Okay, what else? So then I was excited about this one. Let's put those away. So this is the monthly and this is the only one that has this black cover and I have to maybe say that I, I like the black cover. So, but this has probably had some, I have heard some issues this year with the common planners. I don't know if that would be an issue in a passport booklet. So, but it's of course, what do you like? So these are PU leather. So I'm not so excited about that. So I enjoy the paper. So, but if you're talking about colors, I do like this dark forest green. So these are my favorites. I think I would go with these next year. So the monthly. The monthly is nice and of course it does have the... well first there is an empty page then you have this goal breakdown page or spread which is nice. I don't know if I would use it but you can also of course cover that and use this for something else. But I think this is a fun layout, but we'll see. Then the same quarterly pages as the weekly had, but this has of course now the whole year in here. And then it goes to the monthly layouts. And if you have been watching my videos, you maybe remember that I, I don't enjoy this layout, but this was the only option for the monthly. And this starts in December, it has the week numbers, but nothing else. And then well, I was searching for something else, but this is only monthly, so it doesn't have anything else. And then it goes to January 25. And then it has a, quite a lot of empty pages. So two, oh, it has numbered, so I don't have to count. 19 and 20 if we count this. So you have 20 note pages, which is nice. So my plan for this was to replace one Hobonichi weeks. I will probably start this 
soonish at latest in December because it starts in December and then I was thinking that I could put here here or here October November December so I could start this right away so but this wasn't so expensive this was 14 euros 26 cents and as a comparison I checked so the Travelers Company monthly booklet in passport size costs 10 euros and 50 cents at least here in Finland so this is again a bit more expensive but the Travelers Company booklet is not an option for me because I dislike the orange red color so much that I don't want to use that for a year no point of trying even <laughs> And the Travelers Company booklet doesn't have these pages that I can make work for me. So this is, I think, the worth the money for me. And then you already saw that I also bought this. I was like, okay, let's take them all, give it all to me. So this is the fourth one, the fourth option, and this is the Horizontal Weekly. So this is the same layout as the... Travelers Company weekly options and of course it's different so this has the grid this doesn't have the red and I don't have ever used the Travelers Company weekly because again I dislike the red details and I dislike this layout <laughs> so why did I buy it because well now I just wanted to have them all and because I was ordering from the States I was like I'm not going to order again so I will get it now and regret later. <laughs> this was 25 euros 90 cents and the Travelers Company weekly diary is here in Finland 25.50 so these are like the same price. Let's look so this is the same uh, in the beginning as the other weekly and this is also divided in two so you have the first six months and then do you have a, well you don't have so many note pages you have only four note pages in the back but because I always have to have like a plan or like reason to buy I was thinking that I could use this as my food log so for that this could work because I have now, I don't have it here now, but I have used like a self-made, it's like Hobonichi weeks size booklet where I have put the weekdays like this. So this would do the same job and I could have this in my TN if it would fit. But that is one plan for this. I can come up with some other plans. I still have three months almost to think about it but I just wanted to test these try these out and uh, I have to say I, I I like how the new Tomer River paper feels and but I haven't tested it yet I have these are my first Sunson papers and I haven't written in any of them so I haven't tested how I like the writing experience but in my hand I do like how it feels and here is the other one it would be so fun if I could now like do you have any questions that I could answer but maybe I should do a live for that <laughs> but what do you think I now well I can ask you how many <laughs> or if any sterling ink planners you have bought or notebooks they seem to have so many so many options nowadays they have the week size they have the planners they have the notebooks and they, they have so much but I just I was like now okay I will get the passport size booklets because that is what I could use because I have now loving again being in a passport well pocket TN but using passport notebooks this is replacing a week's for me next year, so this is cheaper. No, it isn't. This is 14 euros, so it's about the same price as a week's, but it takes a lot of less space, so I think that's good. <laughs> so one week's, one notebook, 
Mm, well, this, yeah, this was the more expensive option for this, but we'll see. And then, well, these, these I'm... I didn't say the price for these, I think. 12 euros 30 cents one, which is pretty expensive. But you have to count there that I paid the international shipping and I paid the expensive tax that we have here in Finland. So our tax is 24%. So that's that. When I have used them, I will then think about if I have the courage to try the good ink impressions or if I will find an other option. But the point in this is that I want to have small grit. Even this isn't small enough or then I wouldn't, shouldn't have the margins. This is 29 lines. So I can't fit a whole month. If I would, I could put the first day here and the last day here to have 31 days, but I will do the same that I have done now that I have four weeks on one page. So that is why I need the small grid because I need to have at least four weeks on one page that it works. Three weeks is then, then already like too little, I think. So that was my reasoning for getting these. So after this messy first impression video, do you have any questions? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.